Welcome everybody to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. We have another special video today about Splatoon 3 as I am still just as hyped since the announcement. Just want to say first a massive thank you for all the love and comments on my previous Splatoon 3 video. That was crazy. You guys are incredibly kind leaving your thoughts about the video in the comments. But today's topic, I thought it would be fun to take a closer look into the new weapon that was shown in the trailer and maybe make some predictions about how it will be used and what kind of specials it'll come with. So the main weapon I want to focus on in this video is the bow and arrows that was first shown in the trailer. Just from first glance, I am obsessed with the design because I love archery and I think the addition of a bow and arrow to the weapons gallery is much more unique than most of the weapons that we currently have. When I first saw this weapon, I immediately thought that you shoot actual arrows with ink inside, kind of like a bomb, but upon closer inspection, you actually just shoot out normal ink. From the trailer, it looks like you shoot ink from these three points of the bow, and as you pull back the string, you are sucking the ink from your tank and releasing it like a slingshot that will ink the turf or splat an opponent. What I am most excited to talk about is theorizing about the stats of this weapon. Starting with range. The way I think this weapon will be unique is that it will have an unlimited range, and I don't mean you aim straight and it goes to the end of the map, but it will kind of work like how it works in real life. If you aim higher, you get more range, but obviously at the expense of accuracy, and if you aim low, you'll get a lower range. <laughs> That's just how it works. But this way you can use this weapon at extreme distances and still be able to help your teammates who are on the point. It is also good as a disruptive strat that will stop opponents from advancing as they don't know where the arrows are coming from. Next up is damage. I think this weapon will also take some pointers from chargers as the longer you hold the trigger, the more powerful the ink arrow will become and also how fast it'll shoot through the air. I think it'll be kind of difficult to pinpoint an exact amount of damage that this weapon will deal as I think a lot of factors will come into play. It is much more complex of a weapon than the chargers are but I believe it won't be necessarily a one shot kill when fully charged. Maybe at certain distances this can be possible but from far distances, uh, I don't see this happening. And something quick to mention is ink consumption and ink recovery rate. I think it all depends on the time spent charging the ink arrow. Obviously the more you charge, the more ink you will spend. I don't see the ink recovery rate being exceptionally slow, but maybe somewhere in the middle. But this can be fixed regardless with some gear. And lastly on the topic of stats is fire rate. I think this weapon will act similarly to the Nozzle No series by repeatedly pressing the trigger instead of just holding it down. But I think it'll be slower than the nozzle nose, as realistically, drawing a bow and arrow is nowhere near as fast as pulling a trigger. It is tough to put an exact amount for fire rate, as it all depends on what situation you are in-game. But as stated before, for the charge speed, I'd put it slightly quicker than most chargers, because sniping usually takes more time and accuracy, and I don't see that being the type of gameplay that this bow is intended for. Moving on to the specials. This is where I think the game devs will get really creative. I instantly thought of the signature Zygarde move Thousand Arrows from Pokemon. In this case, the special won't be called that, but I think it'll work almost the same. It would be cool when this weapon's special is fully charged, it released a barrage of arrows that you shoot into the sky and it'll land on a certain point on the map. You know, even maybe the mini map. I think it'll be different from Tenta Missiles as it won't follow certain players, but just hit a portion of the map, but like super intensely. Now for sub weapons, I think any of the existing ones will match it just fine, but to narrow it down, I think the disruptor would be good as it will slow the enemy down, giving time for you to charge your bow or ink mine that you can place near you to warn you of an opponent's advancements. The trailer revealed a couple new sub weapons that will most likely be used with this bow, but I don't know too much information about it right now to be able to discuss more. And my last predictions for this weapon is that I think the mobility might have to suffer as the bow is pretty bulky and I think logically it would slow you down. So having gear that will up your run speed will be important if you're worried about running slowly. If you're not, then this mobility, uh, it, you're fine. <laughs> and with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. Please let me know your thoughts on this video and how you expect this weapon to work. Or if you have any ideas for new weapons, feel free to share them too. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3 content. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.